we can't be two. I'm the only option. We can't be another person. So it can't work. Hello wonderful people and welcome back to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ifunaya and you're welcome to Naya's Corner. Please consider subscribing. So far, in this video, I'll be responding to the questions I got. A few weeks ago, I asked you all to send me some questions that I would love to film a Q and a video. And I got a lot of questions, guys. And I thank you all that sent me questions for sponsoring this video. If you love content like this or you would love to hear my responses, then keep watching. So the first question I have here is, if hobby needs support from you, that warrant giving him all you have in your account will you give definitely i won't even think twice before giving him because i know that whatever it is is for our family it's for the good of our family yeah so whatever it is i will i'll give him yeah it suggests good tips and editing apps like yours for an upcoming like me i'm still an upcoming <laughs> okay yeah for the good tips i don't get is it tips on what youtube tips just keep uploading be consistent and try and support others when you support others they will return and support you make your videos and bring them as i will watch yeah that's just it for the editing app that i use i use imovie and in shorts yeah and then other tips like maybe my thumbnail i use canva fonto which other app snapseed to increase my photo brightness or i'll just click edit on my phone like before i i use this for my thumbnail i just click edit and then put auto it will brighten up small or i'll increase the saturation and all i just try to make it bright before i remove the background just go to your browser and type remove background you can just upload your picture there and they will remove the background and you can use it in canva how do you balance motherhood and wife and still stay focused? Guys, I think the thing that worked for me is like, I know they do pass myself. Like once I'm tired, I'm tired. And I don't try to do everything in one day. Yes, and I prioritize what I do. I don't try to juggle a lot of things at once. I do things according to priorities and my husband is actually very supportive. Yeah. Once he's at home, he takes care of a lot of things from the house chore and to kids. Yes, I think that's just that's just it. Like being here with no help. I think the only thing that can actually help you stay focused is your husband. Like having someone that supports at home too. Yeah. And I love love a lot. Likewise, romance. And I would like to know what it feels like on your wedding night. I'm sure you wouldn't want to know. Okay? You don't want to know. <laughs> So the next question is, lastly, what is your overall experience in China? Do you enjoy living in China? What advice can you give someone that wants to come live in China? Above all, I love your personality and I think you're an amazing person. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, uh, my overall experience in China is that China is boring to me. Like a lot of people can be here and they still enjoy it here in China, but here it's actually very boring. Maybe because of the language barrier or I don't know what my own problem is. Do I enjoy living in China? No. <laughs> what advice can you give someone that wants to come live in China? Please come. Like I'm not one of those people that will tell you uh, China is too cold. China is this. Please don't come. Like that's I don't like it here. Doesn't mean you will not like it here. You might come here and you love everything. So please, if you have interest in coming to live in China, just come. We'll be happy to have you. Yeah. The next one is what advice do you have for your younger self? The only thing I can tell myself that is you don't have to force things, especially friendship. You don't have to force them that you are going to meet amazing people in the future. So yeah i think this is it what do you think are the leading causes of divorce in our society this question actually is very sensitive one a lot of people might disagree with me but to me to me i think the leading cause of divorce in our society today is education for the girl child and women empowerment it's not like there wasn't divorce in the past but i think a lot of people now know a lot of women especially know that 
I don't have to be in this relationship. Like a lot of times they will say, okay, marriages in the past lasted more than now. But what about the life of that marriage? Is this all because someone stayed in 50 years in their marriage, but throughout the marriage, they were just regretting. A lot of people just paid more attention to what people will say. So they rather die in the marriage than leave. So with education and women empowerment now, a lot of women know that they can leave and still thrive. Yeah, you don't actually have to die in your husband's house just to be married. They now want to hold their men accountable, which a lot of men don't want people to hold them accountable. Yeah, so there are a lot of things, but to me, I just feel like the divorce rate is high now because of women empowerment and education. It's not like our mothers didn't know they would leave. No, they knew. But they didn't have that backup. Like a lot of women may want to leave marriages, but because they don't have anything to hold on to, financial reasons and all, you see them saying that marriage, crying every day because there's nothing to lay hands on. So I actually feel that it's education and empowerment, women empowerment. Yeah. Yeah. It may be different from you, but I would love to see your opinion in the comment section. So guys, let me move to the next question. So the next one is, I don't have any question. I just love your beautiful smile. Oh, thank you. Why do you decide to start YouTube? Would you do YouTube again if time was reversed? Yeah, I actually started my YouTube because I wanted to document my journey here in China and apart from that I also want to make money from YouTube and to the second question I would have started earlier than the time I started I actually waited almost three years guys to upload my first video <laughs> yeah I was researching on YouTube before I, I was watching a lot of uh, content creators and also doing my own videos but i never thought that that video was okay to be shown to the public so it actually took me almost three years to post my first video so yeah if i'm to start youtube all over again i would have started earlier how has life been in china since covid and what keeps you going life in china has always been boring then now plus covid is boring pro max <laughs> yeah we are always indoors and what keeps me going guys youtube youtube i can't even like i can't even explain it but this youtube have actually made me sane <laughs> i know being indoors and not doing anything guys i don't even know how i've survived i'd not start this youtube so i'm thankful to youtube yeah how do you deal with missing your family with missing family and friends considering the distance guys we talk all the time we talk every day on chat and on facetime thank god for technology because i don't know what i've done how easy has it been for you to blend in considering the language barrier and difference in culture guys i've not blended though but how i interact with them is with my phone i use google translate most of the time so that just that's just it yeah how many kids do you plan on having and what's the age difference between your two kids? Let me answer the second one. The age difference is 20 months. Yeah, one year and eight months. And about having, planning on having more kids. There's no plan now for more kids. These two are a handful. Yeah, let's train these ones first, okay? <laughs> Please, what's the secret to this flawless glow of yours? Oh my God, thank you. There's no secret, it's just staying in those. How are you able to still glow while taking care of kids alone? Is your dimple for me, sis? Thank you. I don't even know. I don't even know, but mm, it's just natural gifts from God, and we are grateful. First off, you are you look stunning. Thank you. Borrow me small dimple. Please come and take. Thank you so much. How do you manage your time as a mom and wife and see me talk with your personal life and your dreams? Okay, how I manage my time and all. The time is never enough. Sometimes I used to think. Do I have the same thing for hours with others? Because before you know it's already midnight, guys. So this time management, I don't actually manage my time well. I don't know. And that is actually what I want to do in the future to be able to manage my time well as a mom and as a wife. And missing up with my personal life and dreams. Guys, my life is on pause right now. <laughs> Apart from doing YouTube, I think my life is on pause. And that is just it. How does it feel like being a mom? It feels so great being a mom. Though sometimes it can be overwhelming. But this is my life right now. And this is the choice I made. How does it feel like? And how has the journey been so far? Okay. 
I think this explains it how it has been going so far. She seems to leave me alone. <laughs> I think it's simply just explain to you or how the journey has been going so far. I can't even explain, but in all this joy and everything, since I'm dragging my hair, <laughs> so you can see, in all this thing, the journey so far, it has been so stressful being here. Yeah, being here without family and friends and being able to assess things I would love. It hasn't been easy. So the next question is, why are you this beautiful? Thank you guys i receive a lot of comments a lot of compliments and i'm so grateful to all of you yeah thank you for the compliments so this one said do you have any regret about being a mother how has motherhood changed your life <laughs> guys i don't have any regrets being a mom no i don't and how it has changed my life guys i never knew like that i could be in one spot for a very long time i always like to go outside and motherhood has made me like become an indoor person i never knew that i could be able to be in one particular spot for a week two weeks three weeks a month i never knew and then i never knew that at any point in my life i'm going to stop pursuing my career yeah but see me now i'm at home so my question is how did you grow your youtube channel to 1k so within a short within a short while i will be taking notes okay you you know you're part of the first people that subscribed to my channel yeah the first hundred people were whatsapp facebook instagram family guys that time i was already getting frustrated after staying for a long time and and my subscribers weren't increasing so i was talking with my brother one time and he was telling me that he knows someone that can help me but he charges money so i told him to give me the person's contact i actually paid him so he had to get manual subscribers and when he reached 500 guys i knew that they were manual because i was seeing their comments but i noticed that when we reached 500 it was now ninjas <laughs> yeah when i asked him he was like he couldn't see more people so he started to use ninjas to complete it so that was what happened i paid someone and the person helped me i wasn't the only one looking for subscribers we were actually two people working on it so that is it would you still want to further your education if given the opportunity? Um, actually, I, do, I wouldn't want to have my PhD. I got my master's in 2020. Yeah, but now I don't know if I really want to do PhD. But um, I don't know. There's no plan yet. There's no plan yet. Once my kids go back to school, I would write my professional exams. I can or ACCA and CFA. Yeah, ACA is like for accounting and then CFA is for finance. Yeah, I would love to write these professional exams. Yeah, but maybe in the future I might decide to do another thing because I'm beginning to develop interest in tech. <laughs> yeah, I'll join, maybe very soon I'll join women in tech. I don't know, but let's see what the future holds. The next one is hello beauty. My question is what country would you like to locate to if need be or what is your dream country? <laughs> Nigeria, guys. Apart from the insecurities and everything, I love home. Yeah. Is there any benefit from the government for the foreigners living in China, both kids and adults? Guys, there's no benefit at all. There is no benefit and everything expensive here. Even having kids or maybe maybe one day I'll do a video about how much it actually costs to have a baby here in China and in Beijing. It's actually very expensive. And after paying all this money, no benefit at all. So there's no benefit, my dear. <laughs> Both for the kids and adults, no benefits. Yeah. I love your dimple. Is it natural? Yeah, it is. Thank you. <laughs> my question is what is what is your greatest fear as a mom not being the mom my kid needs yeah not being there for them either alive or something like i don't want another people person to raise my kids because i know the values i want to instill in them so my greatest fear is not being here to raise these kids yeah so the next one is you are too beautiful tell me your secret my parents oh my parents <laughs> yeah the next one are you a stay at home mom yeah for now i'm a stay at home mom yeah how do you balance motherhood 
and YT stress that is YouTube stress yeah it has been so stressful but guys I enjoy filming I enjoy this YouTube and it hasn't been so stressful so much and because maybe because you have data I don't have to worry about data and all but I actually love it here I actually love it here on YouTube yeah what is your favorite color guys I don't have favorite color I like any color that looks well on me but I think I like white red army green I don't love a lot of colors but I don't like any particular color at all and recently I think I like yellow too so I don't know I don't know yeah do you have any regrets living in China no I don't have any regret living in China is traveling is an experience so I've learned a lot of things here would you like to have a house help no I wouldn't want to have a house help if it's someone that can come clean and go back no problem but leaving house help no is a no for me mm -mm. hey pretty first question how old are you and are you the first child of your parents I'm 27 and will be 28 in May yeah no I'm not the first child of my parents I'm the second child and at that yeah following everything you shared on how you met your husband and how you wanted to chop him <laughs> My question is prior to when you met your husband, aren't you in a relationship then? No, I was in a relationship before I met my husband. Mm. How was sex after your first baby? After my first baby, a lot of things changed. I saw myself prioritizing my kids. I plan on having another baby. No, no plan for now. Mm -mm. And lastly, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Okay, in the next five years, I think by then I should have got my professional exams done, YouTube growth, yeah, and maybe go into tech or get my PhD, but I'm not sure I don't want to get my PhD, but I think overall growth in the next five years, yeah. The next one is, what would you say that marriage has taught you so far? I never knew that I could handle a lot of things at the same time and not break down, guys. <laughs> Like normally I can't do a lot of even from home. I'm not the kind of person that works so much. But see me now take care of two kids alone, guys. I'm doing it and I'm killing it. My beautiful Naya, I admire you from afar. So oh my god, come close. I don't have to be far. Okay. <laughs> so my question is: will you accept if your husband say he wants to marry a second wife? <laughs> I'm not going to accept if he decides to marry a second wife. We can't be two. I'm the only option. They can't be another person. So it can't work. Mm, mm, mm. How was your experience giving birth in China? I had a nice experience. I went to an international hospital and the doctors were actually so professional and they treated me so well. Yeah. I had a great experience would you love to be a career woman or stay at home mom give reason if no or yes for now i may stay at home mom reason because my kids are still so small but once they resume school i'm no longer going to be a stay at home mom i would love to work i would love to support my husband and support our home yeah if your husband asks you to move back to nigeria to stay there will you go yeah, I would love to go back to Nigeria, but he will be coming with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of distance marriage. Yeah, so if we are going back to Nigeria, that would be so great. Like, if you know me, you know, like, I miss home. <laughs> so I would love to go back to Nigeria. The next one, can you stay with your in-laws in the same mansion or house? Yeah, after my marriage, guys, you know, my husband came back to China and I was still in school. So throughout my schooling and holiday i always go back to my husband's family house so yeah i stay with my in-laws for a year plus and it was an amazing experience guys they pampered me so well they don't even allow me to do anything my sister-in-law pampered me like it was sometimes when i come to the kitchen to get things she'll be saying please leave bro. i don't know how to explain to your husband if bone chuck your leg something like that like they pampered me even when one day i remember i wanted to sweep and she was like no i don't know how to explain to your husband when he comes like what happened to your waist and something like that so yeah okay the next question when will you give me your dimples come on think <laughs> How can you be pretty and have a dimple too? Mm, it's the lost doing. 
and it's marvelous in our eyes. Secondly, have you ever experienced racism in China? No. I know Chinese are usually racist to Nigerians here in China. Is it any different over there in China? Maybe because of where I stay or maybe because I'm always indoor. I'm mostly indoors. So I don't get to experience the racism and all. But the few people I've met in China, they were actually so nice. And the one that I don't know if it's racism or not is maybe when you're walking on the road and a Chinese person is coming to me, maybe the person will just change direction. That's all. Apart from that, I haven't. No. Beautiful lady, why so pretty? Why so fine? Thank you. Oh, I receive a lot of why so fine, why so pretty, why so this guys. My parents are actually very cute, yeah. So, if you want to have a cute person like me mm, in the future, just marry somebody that is very cute, okay? <laughs> yeah, this one said, Are you the first child and how old are you? I think I've answered this one. So, guys, I think that's the last question. So, finally, this children allowed me to finish this video i was thinking that maybe i'll continue tomorrow <laughs> but we did it i answered all yeah if i didn't answer the way you want maybe you can just keep all your questions in the comment section and i will <laughs> respond to all yeah so far and this brings us to the end of this q and a video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i'll see you all in my next video bye